This week, in addition to some awesome sailing time, we do some battery work. We also test of our skills getting the motor on Sam Bell. We visit some lighthouses and some sea caves. Oh, and there's a hail warning. We are currently suburban homeowners. We'd love to be sailing cruisers, but for now, we're in the middle. Today we're replacing the old batteries, old batteries, with a new battery. Just that one right there. First we gotta get the old ones out. Oh, two of the old three anyway. Actually the starting battery is okay, that's a good battery. So that one's staying in there? That is. And we're keeping, we're taking the other two Those out. Those two are coming out, these are the house bank. Technically, we're not supposed to have mixed chemistries but we what's, have a, what's the other one this is a uh, regular flooded lead acid as are these two but we're replacing it with the agm the agms are pretty close to an fla and we have a two bank charger anyway that keeps them completely independent so i think it'll be fine all right one two three okay yeah Ow. Right, it fits. Oh. It's in there. It's still heavy. Alright. Now stuff will get her hooked up. Gotta finish her beer. I think I'm gonna move that fan facing outward to try to pull the cool air through. While Stefan's doing actual work, I'm just trying to optimize. Pants. I'm rearranging fans. I'm trying to get a cool. Deck chairs on the Titanic. So it's working now? All hooked up? Yeah. That's well, the new charger right there? Yeah. Still needs to be strapped down, but... So we are going to be heading out shortly. Um, just waiting to get a pump out. And a little bit of diesel. And then we'll be hitting the water. Boom's coming over. Good? Yep. So we are at our anchorage. This is called Big Bay. Big Bay State Park. Big Bay State Park, it's in, off of Madeline Island, in the Apostle Islands. Uh, a lot of people come out and use this beach. 
most of them are left for the day. Anyway, we're just grilling some cauliflower with a, it's gonna have a arugula chimichurri sauce. Arugula garlic Along chimichurri. Along with the, the largest world's port largest portobello mushroom cap. <laughs> and portobello mushrooms and onions. And then I'm making a little rice to go with, so. The onions and the mushroom. Go. It's all good. It was so hot at the marina and now it's just beautiful. Like, what would you say the temperature is? 70. There's a gauge down there. Oh, I don't know, like 70 something? 76 up here. 76 and the humidity is low. Probably, it might be 80 in the boat, but. The humidity last night was like winds, very high. The winds dropped. I mean, you can see the winds. Yeah, it's very there. still. It's very still. But we got a bunch of sailing in today. Stefan didn't think we'd get to sail. So we sailed most of the way here. We were hoping to get a little bit further, but we don't care. We're in no hurry to really go anywhere. I would I would have rather got the sailing time in than we did to yeah. make progress. To um, and tomorrow we'll see what we'll do. Maybe we'll head over to Michigan Island, check out the lighthouse there. We could go ashore here to Madeline. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Still. This is at the Big Bay. So look how clear the water is, you can see the bottom. We're not going to go to the beach today though, because again, Stephanie doesn't really like Madeline. So we are heading out. We're going to go over to Michigan. Then we're going to head up to... Where are we going to anchor tonight? So we're going to anchor at Rocky. Um, and then tomorrow head over to Devil's Island. Once we arrived at Michigan Island, our first task was to get the motor on Sam Bell. So this is the first time we're doing this. So the plan is we're gonna take the dinghy motor on the spinnaker halyard and lower it down. All right, so now I'm walking you. Down to the, a little bit further forward. Um, just actually, just put it on the bow cleat. You climb up? Yeah. I'm just gonna hang it over the water. You want me to? I got it. Are we looking up top? Fine. It's kind of around that spreader, but it should be okay. Do you need me to hold it while you get into the boat? Yeah. I should be able to stabilize it from the boat. I mean, I can get it over. It's not a big deal, but I just wanna. Yeah, but you're gonna need to go back to the wind. I know, but can you stand down? There you go, and hold it from there. Yeah, okay, I okay. got it. Okay, we're good. Just hold it there. Yep. Yeah, I think that was wise. Yeah, that seemed fairly... I mean, other than a bit about a spreader, I think that was good. Yeah. It's from my head. I mean, whoever thought that original lighthouse was <laughs> tall enough? Well, it's insane. I mean, look at it. So you can see both lighthouses behind me. Do, do. The reason there's two is because they originally built this one and it was obviously too short, so then they had to build the other one. Probably not going to be able to go inside either of them today. We forgot our masks anyway, and they're not allowing anyone in. But we have been up these before, at least the, the tall one. We didn't go up the little one. We got to go inside the building. But. I think they let people up. The yeah. Anyway, so we'll head on up and take a look. This is the big tower that we got to go up. And we did walk up there. I yeah, we, we got a tour last year. Yep. That's the small one. We've actually been in there too. Not inside the lighthouse. They won't let you up there, but we have to go in the house. Just look at it. You know, it's not taller. This is the one where they were supposed to be. They were 
Ah, uh, yeah, I think that too. I'm not sure. That's why they just didn't change the spec. They didn't tell anybody they were building it here instead. And then this one, they moved from some river in. Oh, of yeah. I think so, yeah. Had it sit here for, and it sat here for 10 years before they put it up. Just in case you thought dysfunctional federal government was a new thing. Yeah. <laughs> and the whole thing was boondoggle anyway. They only built these things to protect the the private companies that were shipping the stuff. Yeah. They were losing too much stuff. Yeah, it had Didn't nothing to do with the private people citizens. They were losing, but they cared about all the stuff they were losing. <laughs> so you get the federal government to build them a bunch of you White know, houses. admittedly useful things, but mostly useful to a Corporate. small group of people that are making a bunch of money, and they didn't pay for any of them. Welcome to America. So we are now anchored out here at Rocky Island um, in the Apostle Islands. Um, it's been a beautiful day since we still don't have our Dodger or Bimini. It was kind of hot. Um, I took a nap for a large chunk of it because there's also no wind. So it was a motoring day. But we are now anchored out here. Right next to us is South Twin Island. There's other islands that I can't tell you the name of them without looking on the map because I'm not that familiar yet. Um, but it is a beautiful 4th of July 2020. Right, we just got done eating breakfast. And the plan for the day is leave Rocky. I'm head out around the point here and head up on over to Devils and check out the sea caves today in the dinghy and then walk up to the lighthouse. So it's Devils Island Day. I'm gonna do some rowing. I Meaning Stefan's gonna do some rowing. I mean, at least for now. Just hear the water dripping. Doing some more sealing navigation. Sealing <laughs> Interesting geological merit fact. See these ripples right here? Yeah. So those would have been sand ripples on the surface. This is the negative impression of it mostly because this is the layer that came in out. So Stefan is a geologist by training. You're looking at those those ripples were were real, you know, sand ripples. I don't know. I think this. I don't know how old this sandstone is. I'm gonna guess it's like Permian Triassic. It's pretty cool though. And in the winter, now these aren't the ones we've come to, but in the winter, when the lake freezes over. Sometimes. The ice has to form kind of solid. What happens a lot of times is it'll form, but then the waves will break it up, so it, they don't let people come out. But they let people come out, and the kind of formations are really super cool that it forms. We have, I can insert some photos from ice caves we went to, which are just off of, uh, in Wisconsin, sand. from... In the Sand Bay. In the Sand Bay, yeah. Um, we went there a couple years ago. They don't open every year. Kelly got a little hangry. Everyone was taking pictures of ice bicycles, which, you know, it's cool for a while, but even these cool formations start to get a little old after a little bit when you're hungry. Especially when it's freaking cold out. We're gonna keep exploring, and next we're gonna go visit the lighthouse. Okay, we have beached Sambal. And we are tying her up here. Stefan found a random chain. She should be fine even if we didn't tie her up, but hey, what the heck, we had to lift her up. Now we're off. Go visit the lighthouse, which is down there. We have found the trail to the lighthouse. We forgot to bring our masks again, but it seems as if we're all alone on the island anyway. I don't really think they're doing tours this year. I'm not sure if these are just like the keeper's residence or what. I mean, I've never, maybe I've been on a tour here, I don't remember. Cliffs ahead, people. So we were just down here, here's from the other side. Sea caves. I 
thought that that was a weather station. But as Stefan so kindly pointed out, that looks more like weather stuff up there. So he's probably right. Time to head back to Sarles. It's a light wind, so we might try out the spinnaker, which we've never done before. This will be a light time. The National Weather Service in Duluth, Minnesota has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for Central Mayfield County in northwestern Wisconsin. Expected hazards include half dollar size hail. This is a radar indicated threat. The following hail. Needless to say, we did not try out the spinnaker. Instead, we battened down the hatches and headed back towards the marina, just in case. Luckily, it all blew over. So right there behind us is Oak Island. That is where we're gonna be anchoring tonight. The weather that we were experiencing earlier, they canceled it, it seemed to weaken. Um, so no hail, yay! <laughs> We did stick a bunch of our electronics in the microwave, everything we could fit in there because we're worried. But I actually have two laptops along that will not fit in our microwave, so I'm going to be in looking into a Faraday cage because, um, yeah, I don't want to have it trashed. And well, it's mainly just a video that I'm capturing, but sometimes I bring my work laptop up too just in case, and I don't know if they'd appreciate it if it got trashed. Anyway, um, we are going to anchor at Oak, and that is that. So, simple route today, 11 nautical miles, back to the marina. Kelly still finishing dishes. Super pumped. Yeah, it's been a good weekend though. Yeah. We hope you enjoyed our adventures today, and if you did, we'd love a thumbs up and a subscribe. Join us next time for Saro's official naming ceremony. We also do a bit of boat work, along with some sailing, and there's a lightning storm. Thanks for hanging out with us today. See you next time.